It's nice to be in a country where the women are beautiful and the men have sex with donkeys. Columbia is the country where, as you heard, filmmaker Daryl Stone had state, men have sex with donkeys. His film is called Donkey Love, and it's coming to Kelowna. At least that was the intention of the Okanagan Film Festival at its annual event next week, but not so fast. The controversial film was supposed to be shown here at the Paramount in downtown Kelowna, but apparently the Paramount has taken issue with the film and has pulled the plug. Manager Sarah McBurney says festival organizers jumped the gun. So I never spoke to them. They talked to my head office briefly. Um, they didn't have anything finalized and they advertised they were playing it here. Landmark Cinema CEO Neil Campbell says showing a film about bestiality was the last straw. As for the general public and their feelings on showing this film, it's pretty much a 50-50 split. It's absolutely atrocious, uh, inappropriate. I wouldn't pay to see any of that, actually. Go for it. There's no problem. I think the film should be shown, but people should be made aware of the content so that they understand what they're watching. It's too strong. It's not something that I would go see, but it is something that obviously happens in that country. So there's people who, who know about it and, and who are okay with it. As for the festival organizer, Jeremy Hayden, he says he doesn't support bestiality and that people have to remember it's just a film. You know, it's being sold as a bestiality film and, and just that word alone disgusts me. But some don't see it that way. They've lashed out at Hayden on the internet, some making threats. Don't attack the messenger before he can deliver the message. The message has been perverted by just because of the subject matter. The subject matter in a documentary does not mean that's what the documentary is about and supporting. In fact, we are against this and we wish there was something we could do to stop it. And as for the future of the festival, Haydn says it's probably not going to happen unless he finds a new venue to put it on. In Kelowna, Kelly Hayes, CHBC News.